Here's the objective. The objective is to get them in here to eat the food, see that there's a bunch of small companies that work in this industry, that we're, we're, we're normal, hardworking people who care about our state. We have many industries come here and do what you're doing here today. The lunch on the lawn. It is a uh, Arizona legislative uh, tradition to have lunches like this of different industries. It's good and I noticed many of my fellow legislators walking around. Rich Anderson here with Famous TV. I have with me Michael Harrison. He is a local Arizona actor and he's here rallying with us today. Mike, I'd like to start off with um, this question is tell me a little bit about what's going on here today and what brings a lot of the film community out here? Well, the thing that brings us all out here is the fact that the industry, the film industry in Arizona, really needs a shot in the arm. Phoenix has always had a long history with film, but since we don't have tax incentives, it's waned somewhat. New Mexico's getting into business, New Orleans, uh, or Louisiana, Georgia, all places that uh, Lionsgate built studios, which shows that you can actually have investment in a state based on you're attracting them to it. But now that's not why, not why we're here today. The reason we're here today is to reestablish the film office that used to be here. You know, what, five, six years ago, you used to have 20, 30 people running around in a film office helping people from Hollywood set up to do films here. They'd scout locations for you, they'd issue permits, help you get everything you needed to do to make a film. Well, we've closed that office and we don't have it anymore, and we're here today to reopen that office. So basically, we're looking for one person to answer the phone, one phone, and one little office to help bring industry back to Arizona. We need a film commissioner and a film office. We need somebody to answer a phone once we get a phone. What is the concern of the conservative aspect to passing this bill? Well, the bill that we're going to be looking at this session, I think, is stands a good chance to be passed because it's not a tax uh, a rebate or anything. It's merely establishing an office at near the governor to help with the multimedia and film industry. Uh, the, the resistance in the past was there are some people who do not want to, they don't, we all want to have private sector jobs across the board A to Z. And we want it, whatever we do, we want to make it available to all industries. The problem is, is when one industry is singled out, that's where people start to show resistance. But in this case, it's not a tax rebate or a tax incentive. It's merely establishing a key office near the governor where people can go to, to who want to do film and multimedia projects in Arizona. So. It's uh, sponsored by uh, State Senator Carlisle Begay from the Navajo Nation uh, because they do the filming up there and he, they have over 50% unemployment on the Indian reservations and we want to put our people back to work. So this will help and I'm supporting him. Like, share, please subscribe to Famous TV. YouTube page.